Okay, it looks like um, more than half of the class is finished. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start <coughs> going over this. Um, if you read the um, questions very carefully, you will notice that there's some differences in um, what's being asked on this in practice exam than there were on like the homework and the practice sheets. So we're starting off with number one using the periodic order method. Um, the first thing to note is orders are placed every week. So that means our time period is only seven days instead of 14 days. So you'll have to use those seven days in your calculations instead of 14. Um, and that's really the biggest um, thing. I <clears throat> wrote down add 50% of the amounts you calculated as amount needed to delivery to. Get your safe, um, include your safety factor. Um, make it clear that you have to increase that amount by 50%. If you just multiply that amount by 50%, you're actually cutting it in half and you're defeating the purpose. So, what um, is the amount required for the upcoming period? Be 21 cams, which is the seven days for your time period times three cams per day. We're given the amount on hand of 12. Our subtotal is the difference between those two, and that gives us nine. <clears throat> The amount needed until delay, delivery plus the safety factor. So, time of delivery is three days. Normally, we use three cans per day. So, we'll multiply three times three and get nine, and then multiply that by one and a half. We're going to round that up. So, that answer would be 14. And then the amount to order will be just the nine plus the 14, 23 cans. Any questions on that one? How many of you um, used seven days as the time for you? I'm going to use 14. Okay. So watch for that because that's a big, you know, in the, just because the example says one thing doesn't mean the exam is going to be the um, same thing. Okay, so here we have canned tomato juice. We're given the amount of our stock, which is 25 cans. And to calculate the reorder point, which is the number of cans per day and day to delivery times one and a half. So four times three is 12. When you add half of that six again, you should get 18. A subtotal on that, seven. Let me just start because that's A normal use to delivery is just a three can times um, four cans per day, so that's another 12. And we reorder quantity, and we have 19, seven plus the 12. Okay, number three. <clears throat> The recipe is in the executive chef often uses white wine in a variety of recipes. Chef is in the habit of walking into the bar and taking a bottle of Chardonnay at least once a day. Usually, 
were before the farm managers on the there's never any transfer paperwork done. Mm -hmm. no. So the question is, will the kitchen food costs be recorded as higher or lower than it really should be? And explain why. So how many people think that the um, kitchen food costs will be higher? And how many people think the kitchen food costs will be lower? Okay. The correct answer is that it's going to be lower than it really should be. Well, that's because the chef is using ingredients that are not assigned to his food costs. There's no paperwork being done. He's going and getting a bottle or two of white wine every day that should be a part of his food cost or her food cost, whatever the chef is. <clears throat> But they're using ingredients that are not included in the kitchen food cost. But it's in the bar's beverage cost, because that's how the restaurant works, is that the bar purchases alcoholic beverages. Just the opposite of the case that was on um, the module two quiz. Module two quiz had things being delivered to the bar from the kitchen. Um, I could have been more specific and said it was like fruits, like lemons and limes, uh, and cherries, celery, things that are used as garnishes at the um, in the kitchen or in the bar. <clears throat> and basically, they're just disappearing from the kitchen. And anybody looking and not seeing the transfer paperwork is just going to assume that all of those ingredients were used in the kitchen and assign it to their food cost. Okay. Number four, at CGSCI, we place orders almost every day. When we place an order, we create, create an internal document indicating the amount ordered for each product and the product description. We use this document and the driver's invoice to check in orders. Why is this a good practice? Because whenever we're receiving, we have that document that tells us exactly what we ordered. And we will catch any possible errors that the purveyor or the company selling us the food made whenever they created the driver's invoice. So they may have typed in a number wrong and sent us a wrong item. Um, they may have typed in like 11 instead of one in cases instead of cans, all types of errors that they could have made. So it's that document that we create that tells us exactly what we ordered. And then we can make adjustments to the driver's invoice if there was any type of a problem. Okay, extend and total the requisition. This is the same ingredients. <clears throat> and the same amounts of each ingredient, just the prices have changed from the um, module two quiz. So um, the prices went up. So for the um, flour, it's 10 pounds and 50 cents a pound. That should be $5. Five pounds of sugar at 65 cents a pound, $3.25. One two cans of spaghetti sauce. Everybody remember me bringing in the number 10 can of tomato sauce? Okay, so that doesn't have anything to do with how much the can weighs, it's just the size of the can. So this is a very easy thing. We're just multiplying the 1068 per can times two. And giving $21.36. Ketchup, 24 bottles at $1.89 a bottle. And that comes up to $45.36. And then total, be $74.97.
Okay, so this information, I guess anything that's been on the module courses, um, you should be able to um, be ready to do for the exam. I just sent out an email to the whole class um, indicating the exam is this Thursday. It's in this room. You do not need a Scantron. It's going to be a piece of paper exactly like you got out today um, with different questions, but similar questions on it. Um, you will need a calculator. You may not use a phone or a watch or any other kind of a device that communicates um, to do calculations. So get a cheap cal calculator or borrow one. All you need to do is multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Oh, the cheat sheet. Send out the um, specs on the cheat sheet. It can be one sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, front and back, typed or handwritten, whatever is convenient for you. You can write whatever you want on there. Yes. Is that for module three? Okay. Um, it's not due tonight. We have a we haven't lectured on anything for Module 3, so I'll go ahead and change that. I wasn't able to go forward in the whole class and change all the quiz dates. So, no, no, um, no assignments are due. Um, my thing to do is get ready for the exam. Any other questions? Yes. Question four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to email this out to everybody. So you'll have the questions and um, the answers. Um, I know I said I was going to do that with the one we did last Thursday, but I can't remember if I did it or not. So I'll, if I didn't, I'll do that again. Um, any other questions? Okay, so the class lasts for like an hour and a half. I think we spent maybe 30 minutes on Thursday and 20 minutes today. Most of you, I think, were finished in the, in the time before we started going over it. So um, an hour and a half is going to be plenty of time to take the exam on Thursday. Read things carefully. Show your work. Yes. I don't know. I haven't written it yet. It will be similar to like the two practice tests we did combined. Maybe a couple of more things pressed into something else. All righty. Um, try to be on time for 